was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Will Smith can't seem to get a break. His wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, keeps talking publicly about their marriage problems. She even said that Will isn't just acting in movies. He's also putting on a show in their marriage. My honest opinion about that is that narrative had more to do with the false narrative that I helped to create on the red table. So poor Will because of, of the... The adulterous wife. Yeah. Who forced him to go to the table and sit there, you know what I mean? And now look at what she's done. She has the power with an eye roll to make him go up and slap somebody on stage. This has shocked people online even more than when Jada said she had an affair with singer August Alsina. According to Jada, things have been bad since 2016. So why is Jada sharing all this personal stuff? How unusual for Will, a guy who I mean, on that kind of stage to do something so insane. Absolutely. It's totally it's out of character. It's not him whatsoever. And how did Will Smith react to her online posts? Were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. Oh my God, that dude. Me, like, and you know, and that, was in the, that was in the early days. Yeah. That was in the early days. And it was like, um, that's a, that was a big regret for me too, because I could never... Um, I could never open up to interact with with Pac, mm -hmm. you know, and because we had a little bit of a thing, right? Because you know, um, you know, they grew up together, and you know, they loved each other, but they never had that, you know, they never had a a sexual relationship. relationship yeah. But they had come into that age where now that was a possibility, and then Jada was with me, you know. So you know, Pac had a little thing on that, um, but she just loved him like he was the image of perfection, but she was with the Fresh Prince. In a recent interview on an NBC News primetime special featuring Hoda Cobb, Jada Pinkett Smith made a startling revelation. She disclosed that they have actually been living as a separated couple since the year 2016, despite not having gone through the formal legal process for a divorce. That in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. Since since that time, both Will and Jada have been maintaining a facade, portraying themselves as the ideal couple in the public eye. By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. This unexpected twist has completely taken people by surprise, but that was merely the beginning of the interview. The atmosphere heated up even more when Jada proceeded to discuss additional details about their marriage. Jada also shared why they hadn't spilled the beans earlier. She said they weren't ready yet, and were still trying to figure things out between themselves, particularly how to be in a partnership. This revelation adds another layer of complexity. Given that they had been a couple for an astonishing 26 years before deciding to part ways in 2016, you'd think that over a quarter century would be enough time to figure each other out. It does strike me as odd, but everyone has their reasons for keeping things under wraps. Nevertheless, it's only a matter of time before the whole truth comes out. The interview didn't end there. Jada kept sharing more details about their rocky marriage, and things started to get really complicated. Continuing her conversation, Jada explained the reason behind their separation. She said, By the time 2016 rolled around, we were both just tired of trying. She went on to add that they were both trapped in a fantasy, having unrealistic expectations of each other. This revelation threw the internet into complete disarray, shaking the image of them being the perfect couple. Interestingly, their decision to separate in 2016 came just two years after the release of J. Cole's song, no role models, which makes you wonder about the timing. Now, the burning question on everyone's mind is, why haven't they gotten a divorce yet? They did agree to go their separate ways back in 2016, right? Jada Pinkett Smith has an answer for that. She said that she can't go through with an official divorce from Will Smith because she doesn't want to break a promise she made to him. Her exact words were, made a promise, and I haven't been able to break that promise. Honestly, this whole situation is turning into a complete mess. It's mind-boggling to think she wants to hold on to a relationship that's clearly not working. Let's backtrack a bit. In the same interview, Jada touched on an incident that landed Will Smith in hot water with comedian Chris Rock. What is going on? Now, first of all, I'm really shocked because, mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. I'm like, 
what is going on right, right keep now? Keep my wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth, yes. right? And I'm yes. like, but now I'm really worried for Will because I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Initially, people thought Will was standing up for Jada, but this interview made us rethink that idea. Here's the context. During the 94th Academy Awards held on March 27, 2022, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock for cracking a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's baldness. On Oscar night 2022, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock after Chris made a crack about Jada's hair. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. However, Jada later revealed that Will's actions were unnecessary. She said, I thought this was a skit. I didn't realize it was real until Will started walking back to his seat. Bothered you. You, you did an eye roll. Like right. Yeah. And I did that eye roll not so much for me. And I think this is really important. But the fact that there could be a jab at alopecia. Jada was so stunned by what Will had done that she even checked to see if he was all right afterward. And now I'm really worried for Will because I don't know what's going mm -hmm. on. After the Oscars, Will Smith took to Instagram to address his actions, labeling them as unacceptable and inexcusable. He went on to say, while jokes at my expense come with the territory, a joke about Jada's health condition crossed a line and I reacted emotionally. Will publicly apologized to Chris Rock, admitting he was out of line and wrong. He expressed his embarrassment, stating that his actions don't reflect the person he wants to be. Violence has no place in a world where love and kindness should prevail. He he added. In the same post, he also extended his apologies to the Academy, the show's producers, the audience, and everyone tuning in globally. He even included apologies to the families of tennis legends Venus and Serena Williams and those connected to the film that earned him the Best Actor Award. I deeply regret that my actions have tarnished what was otherwise a beautiful journey for all involved. He acknowledged, calling himself a work in progress. Public opinion was divided on his apology. Some found it sufficient and felt it was time to turn the page, while others questioned the sincerity of making such a statement on social media. Meanwhile, the Academy had launched an investigation, but they had not yet reached a conclusion until Will took matters into his own hands. For years, Will and Jada have faced a lot of chatter and gossip surrounding their marriage. Despite it all, they've usually stuck together and fought back against the rumor mill. Interestingly, just one year before they secretly decided to take a break in 2016, Will took to social media to fiercely deny any divorce rumors. In a 2015 post on Facebook, he wrote, Normally, I don't react to nonsense because it's contagious. However, so many folks have been offering me their sympathies that I thought, why not be foolish for once? So, let me clear this up. Jada and I are not divorcing. If I ever choose to part ways with my queen, Trust me, I'll let everyone know myself. He even included a hashtag saying that foolish people should be easily identifiable. It wasn't until a 2020 episode of their own show, Red Table Talk, that the couple admitted to taking a brief break from each other. During that episode, they discussed Jada's previous relationship with singer August Alsina. Jada famously referred to it as an entanglement back then. So why did Jada, who shares two kids, son Jaden and daughter Willow, with Will, choose this moment to finally admit that they're no longer an item romantically? According to Jada, the reason for their delayed public confirmation is simply that they weren't ready yet. She delves deeper into the subject of their separation in her upcoming memoir, Worthy. We're still sorting out how to be in a partnership, she explained. We haven't worked out how to convey that to the public. Given the unexpected nature of the interview, the public's reaction was one of intense outrage. One fan questioned, hold on a minute, why did Jada Pinkett Smith stay silent when Will's career was going down the drain because he defended her? I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. Another chimed in saying, at this point, Will Smith should just grant Jada the divorce she clearly wants. Every time she talks, my respect for him dwindles and now it's completely gone. Yet another commented, I can't believe Will Smith would risk his career and humiliate himself publicly just for his wife to say things like this. As if the public drama wasn't enough, Will Smith's acting career also faced setbacks. Reports surfaced that multiple studios and streaming services, including Netflix, paused projects involving him. On Netflix, he was in the middle of a crime thriller called Fast and Loose. He was also producing sequels like Bright 2 for them. Remember, a fourth installment of his popular 
popular Bad Boys franchise was in the works, especially after Bad Boys for Life did well at the box office. But all of a sudden, these projects were put on hold, even though Smith had seen the script for the next Bad Boys movie just days earlier. So, why did all this happen? Even though Will Smith had won the Best Actor award, he was considered a risky bet in Hollywood. Hiring him for projects would look hypocritical because he physically assaulted someone and didn't face immediate consequences. Sure, he went into what he called a self-imposed exile, but that didn't mean it was okay for him to return to filmmaking right away. Unless something drastic happens, like retirement or other revelations, Will Smith is expected to return to the screen eventually. But for the time being, he was walking on thin ice in more ways than one. Yes, the internet is fuming over Jada's behavior towards Will Smith, and some are even labeling it as betrayal. As a spouse, you're expected to stand by your partner through thick and thin, a promise Jada Pinkett Smith appears to be struggling to keep. So, what's your take on this unfolding drama between Jada and Will? Do you think they'll finally make their separation legal? Has this whole saga made the Chris Rock slap incident even more awkward for Will Smith? And how do you think Chris Rock might react to all of this? Share your thoughts in the comments section, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this, be sure to check out our next video.